okay guys today i'm going to show you how to install uh android subsystem for windows 10 so once you install android subsystem you can open and uh, install many android application to your pc without any issues you can see i can see all the play store application here you can download any application and you can run here in the pc okay guys so let's do it okay guys to run android subsystem uh, you need to have some uh, uh, pick, uh, uh, these uh, settings to enable uh, like uh, windows uh, virtualization in the bios so you have to go to your bios and you have to enable a windows uh, sorry uh, virtualization settings in the bios okay you can check uh, in the pc if is it enabled or disabled you can go to taskbar right click task manager and go to performance tab select the cpu under cpu you can see virtualization enabled if this is enabled you don't want to go to uh, bios to enable because it's already enabled in the bios okay in case it's not enabled you have to go to your bios uh, and enable it and save the settings and you can come back here so i cannot show you how to enable it because in the different pieces the bios key is different the interface is different so you have to find uh how, what is your bios key in the pc and uh you have to check in your pc's uh windows virtual sorry virtualization is enabled or no once this uh, step is done uh you have to uh, go for a second step uh for the enabling windows features so for this one you can type in uh go to the search bar type windows features you can see this one and select that one or else you can go to control panel and select programs and features and you can select turn on windows features so both are same so you can select here first option hyper v okay second one a virtual machine platform it's already selected if not selected you can select third one windows hypervisor platform it's already selected if not you can select it fourth one windows subsystem for linux select it and click, press ok guys the installation is done one installation is done you can click restart uh, so once restart the PC you can come back to the uh, your PC back okay guys my PC is restarted third option third steps to download WinRAR you can go to Google if you already have uh, installed the WinRAR you don't want to download it so if you don't have you can go to uh, Google WinRAR search go for download and download the the 64 bit one if your pc a uh, windows is 64 bit you can download 64 one if your pc is 32 bit you can go for 32 uh, uh, one so since my pc is 64 bit i will download the same and once downloaded i will install to my pc click install select all the options here and press ok done guys the winrar is insto uh, installed uh, we need winrar to unzip uh, the compressed file so third one you have to go to this uh, website i will put in the my uh, below the video you can uh, click and uh, visit the website okay guys this is the website you can go down here you have two options you can uh, get uh, android subsystem for windows 11 and windows 10 since i'm using windows 10 i will uh, download for windows 10 and if you go a little down you will see the system requirement if your uh, windows is windows 10 you need the windows 2020 h2 version and the built version higher than the version showing here so you can go to your uh, pc and settings 
go to system and go to about here you can compare your built version is 19045.3448 so they are asking 19045.2311 minimum so my, my version is higher than minimum and my version is 22h2 and same so i have windows 10 pro uh, guys you have to use windows 10 pro or workstation you cannot use windows home because in the windows home we cannot we, we are not able to uh, activate the hyper v uh, option uh, in the windows feature you can, you remember we uh, enabled the hyper v in the windows home we don't have this one to uh, enable so only pro and workstation uh, versions are available so otherwise you cannot uh, enable this hyper v okay guys uh, these are the system requirement and you need minimum 8 gb or higher uh, ram because uh, there are so many applications need to run so you need good memory and uh, processor uh, requirement and storage i mean hard disk should be uh, like ssd uh, they are not uh, recommend for uh, normal hard disk hsd so ssd is faster so you can go f uh, through this uh, requirement and let's download uh, the android subsystem so this is the second uh, option is the stable uh, build for windows 10 you will select click here and come down come down here you have uh, many options we will go for latest one the first one first one uh, before windows 10 remote amazon this uh, this one already the amazon uh, store is removed there's no amazon store and this is with amazon store so since i don't want amazon store i have play store to download application i will download the first one click and you will see here it will download depend on your internet speed it will take time okay guys download is completed open the folder you will see the uh, folder like this right click extract the for the file will extract guys open the extracted folder and go down you will see run dot bat file this is a file your right click uh, run as administrator let it install hopefully there's no error uh, if you want to share uh, your diagnostic data you can do it otherwise just click continue if there's an error uh, called uh, enable uh, uh, virtualization in BIOS you have to run some codes commands so I will share later uh, in the video if there's an error Okay guys, the uh, Android subsystem is installed. Now you have to sign in. Uh, enter your username and password. Uh, sorry, email address for the Android. Uh, mostly like Google account, you have to use the, your Google account. okay guys you can sign in to your uh, gmail account uh, do the required setup here to access the google play store can see I can have all the application I have so let me try up download one application uh, 
retry high TV let me install you can see it's downloading okay so guys uh, let me explain uh, the some settings in the Windows subsystem Android you can access this one uh, from uh, here go down search for windows yeah, subsystem android right click uh, ping to start so it will come here i close this one this is the uh, system for the android system okay guys uh, in the sys under system you have files if you click the files you get the the like uh, folders in the mobile like uh, file explorer you can access the download these folders and uh, this is the subsystem subsystem screen, 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 screen reader off. off yeah subsystem screen reader here the diagnostic data you can on off uh, privacy dashboard you can see uh, you can set up the permissions those thing for different options you can uh, block and unblock the malicious apps if you require you can on if not required you can off any application you can install so under apps you have all the apps which you have installed you can refresh from here you know that just now i installed high tv so you can uh, click the three dots and open it this is the application just click allow so there are some apps which i already installed before uh, these are the apps so I had to reinstall because I deleted the Android subsystem to uh, show you guys so this is the app it's working fine uh, so advanced system you have developer mode you can on off just like a phone and you can change the memory settings how many GBs you need you want to increase your memories you can increase accordingly uh, uh what else you have you have graphic performance you can change you have windows focus uh these are under experiments you can access to local network uh share folders you can share your user folders i and that's it guys this is the options uh if you face any error let me know uh I have some codes which you can run if in case if you are getting an error uh, called uh, 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 BIOS uh, the Windows virtualization need to enable in BIOS so you have to run uh, you have to open CMD command prompt right click and run as administrator first run this command copy press enter and try to restart your PC uh, check if the Play Store is opening if without any error if you can if you are getting an still you can you are getting error you can uh, copy this one paste here press enter restart the PC try to uh, open a uh, play store or any uh, android application if you are facing still the same error copy this command open powershell run as administrator paste here and enter uh, restart your pc if you enter it will be like this it will ask press y to restart so and try again to open the play store if still you are facing the same error copy again same code run in cmd uh, you must select as administrator and press enter restart and try again it must work thank you guys